Let's say you are asked to collaborate on a Google document by helping to make some edits and suggestions. Uh, here's how I think the best way is to do that. First of all, I am logged into a browser where it automatically gives me uh, these squiggly lines to show me where there are typos, but maybe the other person, the writer's browser, doesn't show that. So you still need to let them know by editing their Google Doc where there are typos. So I find that uh, some people, especially those who are very polite, are shy about typing directly into the document. So what they tend to do is they select the document and then they click on the comment icon on the right and they they might type something like this replace with this is a concise statement okay and then go like that now i'll show you why this is not an efficient way to help the other person uh, a more efficient way is to directly type into the uh the document itself so actually i want to i want to show you something this is this is this is uh, me now as the actual writer I'm going to go ahead and just make some uh, typos here so that we can we can look at this um, okay I'm gonna make some typos okay so here as the helping person the editor uh, I'm in here and I instead of selecting the sentence and, and, and doing it this way I'm going to directly type that's going to be more efficient as a way of helping so I'm going to click here I'm just going to type in you know here is um and i'm gonna take out uh, delete this okay you see the edits are coming over as suggestions that the original writer is able to accept or reject later and then i'm going to say well maybe i don't like short and understandable so i'm going to delete that and i'm going to type concise concise now it looks like i may have accidentally gotten rid of that the space there so i'm going to go ahead and make sure i put a space here okay now let's look at what it what it looks like from the original writer's side, the person who now has to accept or reject the changes. And uh, so here's that, the, here's me logged in as the original writer. So you see, if I'm, if I'm uh, processing this edit over here, I have to first look at what I wrote, you know, I have to look at what I wrote compared with what the editor, the suggesting editor, I'm gonna make this a little bigger. I have to say, hmm, what, what, what exactly did they change here compared to what I wrote? And I have to like look back and forth before I, you know, maybe then copy. If I totally agree with what they wrote, then I maybe can copy and replace that. And then I have to check the box to resolve it. You see, so it's kind of quite a few steps. I'm going to copy, copy this. I'm going to replace this. I might I, delete this, replace it. You know, I have to repaste, paste without formatting. It's just a few steps, right? Versus here. Oh, I found the, the, the editor found some typos. So that's very convenient. I can just go to the right here and go, yep, I want to accept that change. It's very easy. And it instantly makes the document correct, right? If I just accept this. And let's say that I don't agree with this, uh, replacement. Let's say I do want to say short and understandable for whatever reason instead of concise. Then I can simply reject. It's, there's nothing personal. I simply reject, uh, the suggestion. And, and here it is. So it's just a much more efficient way of helping someone with a Google Doc. I hope that this is helpful. And some of you are watching this because you're helping me edit. So thank you so much for your support and help. And uh, may this help you, uh, you know, collaborate even better with Google Docs in the future. Thanks for watching.